Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I will be explaining percentages. I'm making two parts to this video so make sure you check out the part two as well. In this video I will be using this formula and I'll be showing you how to use it to solve questions that come in this format. So with this formula, you have to remember that we're going to substitute and after we're done substituting, we're going to cross multiply. If you haven't watched my video on ratio and proportions, please make sure to watch that as well. It will simplify cross multiplication for you if you have a problem with that. So the question we're going to use says, what is 50% of 200? So substitute is, it says what is. We don't know what, so we're going to replace what with x. So that means we're replacing is with x since we don't know what what is. So I'm going to be substituting them in this corner. So this means that um, what is going to be replaced by x and we're replacing s with x. Then for the off, it says what is 50% of 200? So we're replacing off with the 200. So off is replaced by 200. And the last one says, what is 50%? So 50 is the percent, so we're going to replace percent with 50. Once you know how to substitute the question into the formula, every question you get is going to be super easy for you. I simply rewrote what we had earlier from this side so we could actually solve it. So let's do that right now. We're trying to find x, so this is a proportion. So what we're going to do is cross multiply. So it's going to be 100 times x is equal to 50 times 200. 100 times x is 100x. 50 times 200 will be 10,000. We want x to stand on its own, so we're going to divide both sides by the number in front of x. The number in front of x for this question is 100. So we're dividing both sides by 100. 100 goes here once, 100 goes here once, 100 goes here, cancels these two, so that means x is equal to 100. So when we go back to the previous question, it says, what is 50% of 200? Remember, we replaced what with x, so that means 100 is 50% of 200. Once you're done, you want to be sure if your answer is correct. So since this is a proportion, when we multiply both size like cross multiplying we should end up with the same answer on both sides so let's try this this is just to know if your answer is correct or not let's replace this x with the answer we got which is 100 it would be 100 over 200 is equal to 50 over 100 so we're going to cross multiply and see if we get the same answer on both sides. It's going to be 200 times 50 is equal to 100 times 100. 200 times 50 is 10,000 and 100 times 100 is 10,000. So that means that our answer is correct. This is just an extra step for you to be sure that your answer is correct. 
Now let's move on to the next question. I put the formula we're going to need at the top of the page so we don't have to be scrolling back and forth. And it's going to help as a quick reminder for you in case you forget. So five is, we're going to replace is with five. It says five is what percent of 25. So 25 will replace off. It's equal to the percent. It says five is what percent. We don't know what it is, so we're going to replace the what with an X. And the 100 always remains the same. It never changes. At this point, we're going to cross multiply. It's going to be five times 100 is equal to 25 times X. Five times 100 is 500 is equal to 25 X. We want X to stand on its own. So we always divide both sides by the number in front of X. So for this question, the number in front of X is 25. So both sides will be divided by 25. 25 goes here once, 25 goes here once, 25 goes here once and goes here 20. So X is equal to 20. We want to find out if our answer is correct. So really quick, we're going to replace the X, this X with a 20. We cross multiply and we'll see if the answer on both sides are equal. Five over 25 is equal to 20 over 100. 25 times 20 is equal to five times 100. 25 times 20 is 500. And five times 100 is 500. It's equal on both sides, that means our answer is correct. For this question, it says 80 is 20% of what number? So is would be replaced by 80, 20%. So percent will be replaced by 20. 100 always remains the same. And it says 80 is 20% of what number? We don't know what the number is. So off would be replaced by an X. At this point, we cross multiply. So it would be 80 times 100 is equal to 20 times X. 80 times 100 is 8,000 is equal to 20 X. We're going to divide both sides by the number in front of X. In this case, it's 20. So that X is able to stand on its own. 20 goes here once, goes here once, two, two goes here once, and two goes into A four times. So we're left with 400. That means X is equal to 400. Once again, we want to see if our answer is correct. So we're going to replace the X with the 400, and we'll see if both sides will have the same answer. So 80 over 400 is equal to 20 over 100. So 80 times 100 across multiplying, 80 times 100 is equal to 20 times 400. 80 times 100 is 8,000. 20 times 400 is 8,000. That means our answer of X being 400 is correct. So the next question is, what is 33% of $968.92? So what is, is is going to be replaced by X is 33%. So percent will be replaced by 33. 100 always remains the same. And off is going to be replaced by 968.92. So 
So at this point, you know we're always going to cross multiply. So it will be 100 times x is equal to 33 times 968.92. 100x is equal to 33 times 968.92 is 31,974.36. And we're going to divide both sides by 100 so that x can stand on its own. 100 goes here once, 100 goes here once. We're going to divide that by 100, and that is 319.7436. So let's quickly check if our answer is correct. We're going to replace this x with 319.7436. So it's going to be 319.7436 over 968.92 is equal to 33 over 100. So we're going to cross multiply. It's going to be 319.7436. 36 times 100 equal to 33 times 968.92. So this side would end up being 31974.36 is equal to 33 times 968.92 which is 31974.36. Both sides are the same, so that means our answer is correct. So for this question, it says 3 out of 8 is what percent of 5 over 7? So is is going to be replaced by 3 over 8. The percent, we don't know what the percent is, so we're replacing the percent with x. 100 always remains the same, and off would be replaced by 5 out of 4. What we're going to do is simplify this side just so it's easier for us. If you haven't watched my video on division of fractions, I'll suggest you go do that, and this will be very easy for you. So what we're going to do is 3 over 8 times, we're going to flip the 5 over 4, and it's now going to be 4 out of 5 since we're multiplying. It's equal to x over 100. So 3 times 4 is 12. A times 5 is 40, and that will be equal to x over 100. So this is the new equation we're going to work with. So once again, we would cross multiply, and it's going to be 12 times 100 is equal to x times 40. 1200 is equal to 40x. We want x to stand on its own, so we're going to divide both sides by 40. And 4 goes here 3 times, we have x is equal to 30. So to be sure if our answer is correct, we're going to replace this x with 30. Or we could just use this one and replace the x with 30 to make it easier. 12 over 40 is equal to the x, which is 30 over 100. 40 times 30 
is equal to 100 times 12. So I think it's 12. So 1200 is equal to 1200. Both sides have the same answer. So x being 30 is correct. So I have this question I want you to try. It says 7 is what percent of 35? I know with all the other examples we've done, this is going to be easy for you. The answer is 20. Let me know how you do. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe as well.